last lesson in chapter six is to solve radical equations. Um, we have all the tools in, in our tool belt, so we need to be able to solve these. Here are our steps. Step one says isolate the radical on one side of the equation. What does that mean? Let's go through these steps on this first example problem. We need to isolate this radical. This two, this plus two is not underneath the radical. So when we go to isolate it, we would add, oh, subtract, it's already added, subtract that two to the other side. Okay, so then we would have the square root of three X minus five equals four. Now that's isolated. The radical is by itself on the left side of the equation. Step two says to eliminate the radical, raise each side of the equation to a power equal to the index of the radical. So this one is a square root. That means I'm gonna raise each side to a square, right? If it was a cube root, we would raise it to a third power. If it was a fourth root, we'd raise it to a fourth power and so on. The exponent cancels out the radical. So we would just have three X minus five equals whatever four squared is. Four squared is 16. Step three says to solve the resulting polynomial equation and check our result. Okay, so once we have this, now we're just solving it. It's gonna take us a two-step equation here. That's three X equals 21, divide by three. X is going to equal seven. Now you do need to check and it tells you right here, radical equation has a variable and a radicand. Therefore you have to check and make sure you don't get an extraneous solution. But all you really need to check is check to see if you get a negative underneath an even nth root. So check, it's an even root, it's a square root. So take that seven in your head just real quick. If I plug the seven in right there, three times seven is 21. 21 minus five will not give me a negative number. So this one will be just fine. Okay, if I was to plug in say a one here and it would give me a negative two, that's gonna be an extraneous solution. Let's try another one. Isolate the radical. Now this one is a rational root. Um, we've learned that that could be rewritten as a square root. It's a half power, same thing as a square root. So not a big deal. Let's just solve this, isolate that radical, uh, irrational, I'm sorry, rational exponent. We have six X plus 21 to the one half. You could change that to square root if you want. Um, not gonna bother me though, when I raise it to a power, I'm gonna raise it to a power of two, uh, just as if I was a square root and I was raising it to a power of two. Okay, it'll cancel it. So I'm gonna have six X plus 21 equals nine. Don't forget a squared, that means three times three, not three times two. Subtract 21 from both sides. It gives me six X equals negative 12 divided by six. X would be a negative two. Check real quick, make sure this doesn't give us a negative in here. Negative two times six would be negative 12 plus 21 will be a positive nine, so we're good to go. Pause it if you need to, moving on. Same thing, and the steps are still the same. Isolate that radical. Um, this one, I would need to add nine. That's going to give me four and then two X plus six to the one third. That's a cube root. Do you want to rewrite it with a cube root? That's fine. Equals 12. Now it's still not isolated. I have this four out front. So next I need to divide by that four. So I would have two X plus six. If you want to change that one third to a cube root, you can. I'm just gonna leave it. I'm gonna know that when I raise each power side, I'm raising it to a power of three. Cubit. That cancels the cube root. So I would have two X plus six equals three cubed. That's three times three times three, which is 27. Then solve that minus six. Divide by two, X is going to equal, you can leave that as 21 over two, or you call that 10.5.
Another example, this one, I'd start by subtracting eight. I'm going to drop this down. I have negative the cube root of 4x minus 1 equals negative 3. I have this negative out front. So to get rid of it, I'm going to divide both sides by negative 1. That's the cube root of 4x minus 1 equals positive 3. Cube each side. And give me 4x minus 1 equals, again, this is 3 times 3 times 3. That is 27. Add one, that's four X equals 28. Divide by four X would be seven. Don't need to check for extraneous solutions when it's underneath the cube root. Cube roots will be just fine. You can get a negative underneath the cube root, not a big deal. I wonder why these are so scrunched in here. Yeah, there's poor design on this notes page. Take a look at this. We've got to solve this equation. It looks crazy. Let's see if we can handle it. I subtract eight. It gives me two thirds, 11 X plus 14 to the one sixth equals two. Multiply by the reciprocal. So three halves on both sides. And give me 11 x plus 14 to the 1 6 equal to 3. Raise each side the power of 6. I had so much room to work out every problem until these last two, and then I'm take the most room. 11 x plus 14, 3 to the 6. I'm going to use my calculator and I'm going to get 729. Keep going. The 11 X equals 715. Divided by 11, we get X equals 65. If I plug that in, it's not going to give me a negative. So that is my answer. Next one, we're starting out similarly. I would add two over. It's going to give me three and the fifth root of four X minus eight equals six. Divide by three, fifth root of four X minus eight equals two. Then I have to raise each side to the power of three. So I get four X minus eight equals eight. Keep going. Four, so X is going to be four. Last one is an, oh my goodness, you can even see all that that I just did. I'll leave that up there while I talk about this. I'm gonna read this and probably even finish writing. It's the square of time it takes a planet to orbit the sun T is equal to the cube of the planet's mean distance from the sun A. This relationship can also be written as T equals square root of A cubed, where T is measured in years and A is measured in astronomical units. If it takes Mars 1.88 years to orbit the sun, use a graphing calculator to find the mean distance from Mars to the sun. Okay, so first we've got to get it solved for A. A plugged in to Y1, they plugged in 1.88. And then into Y2, they plugged in the cube root of a, or sorry, square root of a cubed. And then they look to see where it intersected. We're gonna solve it. You would square both sides. You get a cubed equals 1.88 squared is 3.5344. Take a cube root of both sides. Now, how would I raise this to a cube root to finish solving that? All that you do is you take that to a power of one third. I'm not a cube root button here. Okay, so we're just going to take it to a power of one third is the same thing as a cube root, and we get 1.5232525. Just round that to 1.5.
they have it right here. Not hard to solve though. Let's practice some on your assignment. 